uh, I guess, in theory, correct. Okay. <laughs> um, that is our goal to reduce all those those issues. Um, you know, it is going to take some time. You know, we're, we're dealing with some old old lines throughout the city. We're going to change the water direction when, when we move this. So there are going to be some, you know, I guess uh, disruptions to people with discolored water and and things like that. We're going to do our best to minimize it. You know, by flushing or uh, you know things like that. Th those are all the things behind the scenes that you won't see. Um, but it is our goal that once it's up and running, it, that those things should be minimized. So, because our water systems are quite old, correct? What like what we're working with currently? Yes. Yeah, so the water system is uh, was developed in 1902, which we still have some some pipes in the ground from 1902, uh, a lot from the you know 20s and 30s as well. So yeah, it gives you an idea that uh, you know the stuff's been really old. So yep. yeah. Um, Deputy Mayor Quinn, I, I can't see you, but just checking in to see if there's anything that you'd like to add or ask. No, all good. Sorry, I, I'll raise my hand, uh, Councillor Arsenal. No. Yeah, no, that's no problem. It's just we've got the full screen, so I can't see you if you've raised it or not. So, uh, yep, Councillor yeah, Harris. I think Councillor Summers is online. Oh, kind of oh is he? So just for a weekend there. Just to, to Director Rao, uh, uh, over the last few weeks, I guess, Director, we've uh, talked about uh, the impact of traffic in case. Samuel Bridge closes down. Like, how much impact of traffic is this going to be in August, September for these water lines? It will be, there will be an impact, or will that change the way you look at it for the fall? If uh, if we do hear that our bridge is closing again this year in May first, like we've heard the last couple of years. Yeah, Councillor Harris. So you know, this bridge closure has been talked about for a number of years. Um, you know, we're we're very mindful of it. How it has impact traffic? What we can do? Uh, I know that we're looking at right now is uh, Newcastle Boulevard. You know, we can't close that road. But we're looking at uh, allowing traffic to, uh, nothing's finalized, but we're essentially we're allow, looking to allow traffic go up the hill, and traffic coming down the hill will be used, uh, you know, Gladstone, Hanson Road, those ones. So we think the flow is going to be okay. I mean, it's off King George Highway, which we anticipate all the major tra traffic disruption will be on King George Highway. Um, but, uh, you know, a lot of traffic will be used this. So our goal is to minimize it. It's going to be later in the year. So hopefully there's only a small overlap with the bridge closure. We don't. We don't even know if there's going to be a bridge closure. I guess nothing's firm on that, so it's been it's been hard to, uh, you know, trying to work around that bridge closure. I'll be honest for the last number of years, but essentially that we're at a point now that this this work has to be done. It has to be turned over, and uh, and get this up and running. So uh, we're doing our best to minimize the traffic disruption, but uh, you know this work work we're going to recommend this, you know, based on the tender coming in. Um, a lot of things got to happen before it, but uh, we we really want this work to get done this summer. Yeah, thanks. And I, I guess that's probably the point I'm trying to make is the disruption that we've had over the last couple of summers trying to de decide what projects we can do for, for traffic flow and the uncertainty out of, out of uh, our capital fragment that we don't understand the, you know, what impact we're going to have because we don't know what, what the dates are. So, the, you know, the sooner we get a date from Fregnant, the sooner it's going to be better for our citizens because obviously our citizens come to council first with their problems with traffic flow. Yeah, they don't seem to go to Fregnant. So it's kind of getting off. It's what's today, February 7th. Uh, we're getting close to May 1st at that city, and uh, I think it's time that our citizens know this year uh, in advance if we're going to close or not, and it's it's frustrating again 12 months later. Sure. Thanks, Councillor Harris, and I think uh, Councillor Summers has joined us online, and Councillor King has joined us in uh, chambers, so we've got a, a, a good crew. Uh, Councillor Summers, anything? I can't see you right now, but just any questions so far? Um, I think Dan already answered it there for me, Councillor Arsenault, um, just because I was a little bit late tuning in here. Timeline for some of this work, I believe you said Director Rao is later in the year, like, so I don't know if we have that scheduled, but I just yeah. wonder if we have any more accurate timeline, I guess. Yeah, Council Summers, I believe you're, you're, you're talking about the schedule, I guess. Mm -hmm. We're looking at uh, tendering this work here in March, get, you know, get an early jump, get a contractor. Uh, we're going to get, there'll be some work going on in July, but we anticipate the road to be uh, closed, uh, or I guess down to one lane in August is the time frame we're looking at. August, September is kind of the, what we're looking at, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Over to the manager. Um, in response to a question from Councillor Arsenault, you touched briefly on expected impact on traffic and provision of services as a result of this. I just want to get confirmation that, you know, I know the contractor hasn't been assigned yet, but well prior to the start of this work, I expect there will be a public presentation as to 
timelines, impacts, and a full communication plan uh, for that well before the work starts? Would that be accurate? So I guess, uh, you know, this would be the first step that in letting the public know is uh, our plans, we rough timelines. Once we tender it out, sit down with the contractor, uh, finalize those plans, yes, we can communicate them, yes. I, I just want to be sure because I expect even potentially your comments will trigger questions for council sure. about things and, and, and I guess I want to assure the public and want you to confirm that all the details will be rolled out through a public meeting, including a communication plan, well before the work starts. Fair enough? That's fair, yeah. We've done that before with, uh, with uh, you know, King George Highway. We let the public know. We split the traffic for that. We envision this to be the same, same way, so, yeah. I guess what I'm worried about more so than the traffic is the interruption potentially in water services, and you mentioned potential discoloration, all of which have been issues in the, in the past. and. And uh, it, it, I guess I'm trying to stem the flow of individual calls that may come in to your department and the council by assuring people that will be made known once again well before the work starts. Yeah, so what we're working on right now is, is finalizing the, the, uh, sequence of the sequencing of the work, given it the complex complexities of this water system in this area. So, uh, so we're nailing that down with our uh, designer, um, we'll be, and then we issue a tender, and then we'll sit down with our contractor, firm dates, and then we can work with, uh, you know, communication on with the public. Yep. Thank you. Sure. Any other questions on what we've covered so far? There's more to come. Sure. Thank you. So the next next topic.